Why Reaper? Speed and flexibility. In this way, it's the most creative DAW on the market, in my opinion. The problem is that coming from Pro Tools, at first Reaper is almost unusable. And that's why I created this website. It's a set of tools that, when imported, makes Reaper function like Pro Tools. And that means that you can have all the functionality and power of Reaper in an environment that you're used to, like Pro Tools. And I just want to go over a few key features of why Reaper is so powerful. Tab Sessions, an incredible feature that lets you open multiple sessions, full-on sessions at once. If you're working on one session and just want to bring in a few elements from this other session, you just copy, go to your other tab session, and paste. Also, if you just wanted to bring in the two tracks over here, you can just copy and then paste it right in. And there you go. You have now those two tracks, the full tracks, in your session. Effects per clip. Effects per clip means that each of these audio clips, or as they call them, items in Reaper, can have an effect, a whole effect chain. It's this little effect button here. And this can be as many effects as you want, and they can be automated, each of them, per clip. So each of these can have its own effect. Also, if you want, like other DAWs, you can put the effects right on the track itself. Tracks are channel agnostic. So as you can see here, we have a 5.1 channel clip. We have a mono clip, and we also have a stereo clip, all on one track. Super flexible. Pro Tools eat your heart out. Exporting. So exporting in Reaper is actually pretty amazing in that you have a lot of options. You can do the main mix, you can do stems, you can do um, items, like selected items. And also you can have presets here. So I have a preset for mono, for stereo, for surround. And that sets all of these up so you never have to look at this again, which is incredible. Also, um, the file name can have wildcards. You can name it by the item, by the project, by the track. And that can be all associated with whatever file name you want. Also, just an incredible little feature it has, when you render this file, it brings up this render box, and right here, Show in Finder, is brilliant. You can just press this button, and it shows you exactly where your file is. I hate that in Pro Tools, I can't ever find my files. Some of the built-in features are really awesome, like Reverse. Reverse isn't a box that you have to get, you can just have it at a press of a button. Also, Normalize, you can have it at a press of a button. Down mix to mono, press of a button. You can also then go back and go into channel settings and then put it to normal or just get the left or the right. Those little features to me make this DAW so fun and easy to work with. The actions list. So the actions list is this little list here that shows every action in the DAW. That includes preferences or tools or customization. It's all in here. So if you wanted to find something like normalize, you just type in there and you find all of the features in Reaper that normalize. This is a very efficient way to find whatever you need within Reaper and get to it fast so that you can get back to being creative and editing. Macros is in the actions list and macros is basically a list of actions that you can have that is combined together, put to a key binding. So for instance, this is actually a macro, this A button. And this one is really powerful. It actually looks for where the cursor is rather than the edit placement and then edits by the cursor. So this, um, like in Pro Tools, if you click here and then press the A key, it'll cut there. But unlike Pro Tools, I set it up through a macro in Reaper that every time I press A, it's based on wherever the mouse cursor is rather than the edit placement. Really powerful. Subsessions. I love subsessions. I use them all the time. They're great for game audio, for organization, for exporting files. It's a great feature within Reaper. So let's say I just want these two tracks and I want to make this a subsession. I press the subsession button, which is a script I wrote, but um, it's pretty easy to make a subsession. In my script, I copy over the video track and I also copy over the routing so that it's easy to play a sound. So this is our subsession. Our subsession is a session. It's a full out session with all of the elements. But then when you save it, I'll make it stereo. Then when you save it, 
you go back to your original session and there you go. It looks like an item or a clip. So all you have to do is then put in some silence, uh, cutting out the silence, and there you go. You got your four assets for the game. Then I can rename this. I'll just say name 0102A3A4. There we go. And you're ready to export this for the game. Now, if you save this and you came back to the session, let's close our subsession. We already saved it, so it's closed. And let's say we came back to the game, but this first asset, and only the first asset, I, I need to change something um, and make it a new asset. So I can double click, it opens the session back up. Put a little fade on that, there we go. And then save it. So now that asset has changed. I've re-rendered it, and this subsession changes automatically on the re-render. And it kept the name. So all I have to do is export this one file. I don't have to rename it. I don't have to re-edit it. There it is. It's amazing. So I'll end with scripts. And scripts being probably the most powerful thing about Reaper. And that's, it's basically whatever you could imagine you can do with scripting. I'll just give some examples of what I've done. Um, I wanted a really good renaming, but I wanted it simple. So I created a whole renaming script and then it'll rename all your items and you can do it in multiple tracks and it's like a smart renamer. That's one example of a script I wrote. Another example is um, after 10 markers, there's not really an easy way to get to markers in Reaper. So I wanted to write it to be like how Pro Tools finds markers. So you press dot, you press one, and it'll go to whatever that, wherever that marker is. Press three, goes to three. But also, I made it a little better in that, if you can see, this marker has a name on it called name. So I wanted to be able to do dot and then just type in name, and it goes to that marker as well. So it can go to marker by the number or by the name. So those are examples. So I hope this gave you some examples of why Reaper is so exciting and powerful, especially as a sound designer, where creativity is king, and you want the technology to get out of your way. So take a look at my website. I'm hoping that you can check out Reaper and get up and running fast so that you can then unlock the possibilities of creativity within the fastest and most flexible DAW on the market.